Hi everybody, this is Jeff Lentz from Picasso Piano Academy. Today I'm going to talk about being a rhythmic piano player and how to begin developing a concept as a rhythmic player. Now, what is a rhythmic piano player, you ask? Basically, it's doing the piano counterpart of what a rhythmic guitar player, a rhythm guitar player does in a band. If a band has two guitars Usually, one's the rhythm guitar player that's doing the rhythmic chunking and providing rhythmic vitality and chordal stuff to a song. And the lead guitar player is the guy playing the solos and getting all the girls. Just kidding. No, not really. Uh, so the rhythmic piano player is the guy that's doing the rhythmic comping, the rhythmic vitality in chords. And uh, that's, that's the guy that sometimes becomes the lead piano player and is doing solos and stuff. But for the sake of today's video, we're going to talk about how to get started and developing a concept as a rhythmic piano player. Now, one thing that I've discovered over the years is that, that drummers tend to make really good rhythmic piano players. And and believe me that if you're in a band and you're looking for a keyboard player, um, you're probably going to be more interested in finding somebody that's got a really hip, rhythmic thing going on, more so than being a soloist. There's usually plenty of soloists, uh, guitar players, sax players, whatever. But, but um, you'll be, I think, more in demand uh, as a band player if you're a real solid rhythmic player because um, I don't know, that's what bands need more than soloists usually. So um, that little piece of video you saw at the beginning, that 30 second video, was me playing a drum rudiment called a paradiddle. And I was using a technique exercise called wrist staccato on it. A wrist staccato looks like this, right? And uh, a paradiddle sounds just like it does when you say it. So I'm going to start with my left hand and it's going to be paradiddle. Paradiddle. Okay? So a paradiddle played over and over starts with the left hand, paradiddle. But then the next one starts with the right hand, paradiddle. And then back to the left hand, paradiddle, right hand, left hand. Okay, so um, that 30 second bit that you just saw had me started out doing a paradiddle, but then it, you, you saw me morph into doing kind of a rhythmic piano, cool hip kind of thing. And I, and I wanted to do that to show you how uh, uh, starting with a paradiddle will lead you into conceptualizing different ways of playing a paradiddle, sometimes to the point where you can't even recognize a paradiddle anymore. But it all started, it all sprung from a paradiddle. And uh, I'm going to uh, roll tape again and let you see me just practicing a paradiddle with wrist staccato. And uh, I'll be talking to you a little bit as that goes on. So we're going to start out by doing wrist staccato. Here I am doing octaves with both hands, just on the C major scale. I want you to notice how relaxed my wrists are. And when I get to the bottom of every stroke, for just a quick half a second, I'm letting my wrists relax. Wrist staccato is about range of motion and relaxation, about not involving any more musculature than necessary. Moving into paradiddles now, start with the left hand. Keep it relaxed.
Now we're going to swing it. Now, in conclusion, if you were to practice a paradiddle with wrist staccato on a regular basis, I can pretty much guarantee that you're going to start being able to conceptualize how to do rhythm piano. Uh, and um, we'll have other videos um, that will help you get going as far as being a soloist in your own right. So I hope this helps. Please leave comments below and follow the links to my blog and, uh, and other free cool stuff. Okay? We'll see you later. Thank you.